Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I want to take a look at your skin, also known as the integument. Now your skin is a waterproof coat that you keep for a lifetime. It's made up of a number of different layers and it performs many, many roles, more than you're probably aware of. Now when you look at me and I look at you, what you're actually looking at is the top or most external layer of our skin that we term the epidermis. So let's write that up here. This top layer that you can see is known as the epi. Now epi means on top of dermis. Now the dermis is obviously going to be the layer underneath the epidermis. And then unsurprisingly, the layer underneath the dermis is going to be called the underdermal layer, which we term the hypodermis. Hypo means under, hypodermis. It's also sometimes known as the subcutaneous area. Now when we look at the epidermis, it's made up of a number of important cell types and also plays many different roles. So first of which, the most abundant cell that you'll find, which I've drawn up here as multiple layers of squished cells, they're filled with a protein called keratin. And this protein makes this very tough and also makes it waterproof. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to type simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube into your search bar and join well over 1 million students hacking their nursing school system.